Okay, let's talk about how to make activated EM. If you are in my online gardening course, I will put a link down below where you can go and watch this within the course because there's way more in the course about how to do all of this. Okay, so you've chosen your container, you know what you're going to be using, and then the first step is to heat up some water to the point where it's like the same as a hot bath. So 100 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 38 to 48 degrees Celsius. And then you take your container or your containers, if you're doing multiple activations at once, and you fill them about halfway full. If you you are using any sort of ceramics to help structure the water you can dissolve them in there now and then you put your molasses in that's five percent of the volume of the container you have unsulfured molasses hopefully black strap put it in there put the lid on shake it really well to make sure that molasses gets really dissolved because it's thick heavy stuff that otherwise if you don't shake it well it will just end up on the bottom if you are mixing in any other ingredients optional ingredients, sea salt, seaweed, any other things, you can add them in there now. And then comes the mother culture, also at 5% of the volume of the container. You can put it in there and then you top off the container with the rest of your hot water. The water may have cooled a little bit by now, closer to the bottom of that range, and that's okay. We don't want it too hot, but we want it nice, plenty nice and warm to get things going. So then once you've added, you've topped off your container with water, you can cap it and shake it gently make sure everything gets mixed together nicely make sure the lid is on tight and put it someplace warm for at least a week if you can and so the optimal temperature for this fermentation is 80 to 100 degrees fahrenheit i've always done it in the oven with just the oven light on I'm not sure if ovens are starting to come with LED bulbs, but mine still has an incandescent bulb that is very inefficient, which means it puts off some heat, which is perfect for activating EM. It, my oven's about 85 to 90 degrees, and it, it's great. The only thing I learned to do the hard way many years ago is to put a sign on the bake button to make sure nobody tries to bake cookies because you'll be baking your EM. There are many other options for keeping it warm, like in a terrarium with a heater, by a radiator, by any sort of incandescent light bulb with some kind of blanket over it. Just you have to be careful that it doesn't get too warm because you could start a fire or you could hurt your EM. You can also do it at room temperature, but it takes longer. It could take four, six, eight weeks or more and there is a little bit more of a chance of failure at, at that temperature it's really nice to keep it warm even if just for the first few days it really helps to get the process going nicely what happens after sometimes two days sometimes five days somewhere in the first week is gases will start to form in the container and they need to be released if you're using an airlock on your container you don't have to worry about much other than if it has you know you might have to put water or some kind of liquid in the airlock that's how most airlocks work not all airlocks work that way but or you can do what i do which is just burp just take the cap off and put it back on and it lets the gases out sometimes you can't hear it but eventually enough gases start building up that you can hear the happen and you might have to burp it once or twice a day the em is probably finished when those gases start to decrease. But really the way I check is by checking the pH with a pH meter or pH paper. If you're watching this in the course, I'm gonna talk all about that in the next lesson. But basically once you're down to a pH of 3.8 or below, you can start using the EM. Uh, 3.5 is really the ideal, somewhere right in that mid three range. Again, I'm talking about that more in the next lesson if you're watching in the course. If you're watching this on YouTube or on my website, I do have a few other things I'd like to share with you. I will put a link to that right here. 